Passive house for warm climates explained in 90 seconds. Does your house have an air conditioner that you run during summer and portable heaters you use during winter? Did you ever wonder if it was necessary? In 1991, Dr. Wolfgang Feist built the first passive house and here's what he did. 1. Proper insulation. It's just like using an esky to keep your drinks cool. It makes your ice last much longer. 2. No air leakages. There should be no holes, small or large, to let warm air into the house. 3. No thermal bridges. A thermal bridge is like a road for heat energy in which warmth can travel right through your walls. As a matter of fact, most of our houses have thermal highways in our walls where heat can easily travel to the inside. Plus, the house needs proper windows, most of the time with double pane glass. It needs to be oriented properly so the sun can heat it in the winter and shade is provided in the summer. And it uses an HRV a device that provides the inside with fresh air without letting the heat in. Add all these things up and it turns out you can control the humidity and cool your entire house with the same size air conditioner you probably have in your bedroom. So, does this mean cross ventilation isn't required? Or that I need to leave my house closed up and run the air conditioner all the time to stay cool? No, fortunately for many months of the year in warmer climates the outside temperature and humidity are perfect for thermal comfort and you can enjoy the indoor-outdoor living experience. But when the thermal comfort requires an indoor space to be conditioned, Passive House helps you reduce the energy consumption by up to 90% to make inside comfortable. This saves you a lot of money on your power bill and helps preserve the environment.